Good afternoon, you guys. Welcome, crafty friends. It is nine o'clock. I hope I will give everybody a few minutes to hop on. Um, we're gonna make a foo foo Valentine's door hanger. So anyway, this one's gonna be just sweet. Um, my name is Marlene. And this is Marley Grace Creations. Welcome to my page. And if you're watching me from YouTube, welcome. Thanks for joining my YouTube channel. Um, hey, Sheila, how are you? I tell you, that first few seconds is just brutal. <laughs> it's hard. <laughs> the, first few, the first few seconds are just hard. You're talking to nobody. You're wondering if people are coming on. You're trying to explain what you're you're doing you know nobody's there it, it is this hard hey patty how are you <laughs> it looks like i have four on i only see two but i'm sure they'll show up good afternoon you guys um let's see we're gonna make a valentine's door hanger so i'm um, switching gears here i was just in my private group and we were making this beautiful lamp um we just made I just made all these molds for this lamp. So later in the private group, maybe not tonight, another time we're going to finish it up and paint it and make it absolutely beautiful. Hey, Sue Ellen, how are you? I hope you're feeling better. Hey, Cheryl. Hey, Margaret. Hey, you guys, thanks for hopping on. I'm just dropping all kinds of stuff down here, y'all. Hold on a minute. E6000 does not need to be on the floor. Nope, nope, nope. Let me get this, um, let me get this straightened out. Now, hey, hey, how are you? Okay, hey, Nancy. All right, the first thing I'm gonna do is paint this thing bright pink. I might not leave it bright pink. I don't know, we'll see. But for now, it's going to be bright pink. And I have learned that when you're painting a great big surface like this, um, make sure, let's see, you cannot see half of this. Am I backwards? I can't tell, because that's frontwards to you. Oh well. We'll figure it out. But anyway, it's better if you use a sponge, a piece of sponge, a sponge brush, um, just to get this big surface covered. Otherwise, if you're using a like small paintbrush, you're going to be painting and painting and painting and painting. And it is hard. So, hey, Betty. How are you? Make a Valentine's door hanger. And it's going to be foo-foo. Hey, Dawn. Let me get a little more paint on here. Guys, if you're first time watching, let me know that you're a newbie and tell me where you're from. Um, a lot of you, if I haven't seen you in a while, tell me where you're from, what kind of weather's going on there because we have had a beautiful spring day today. It was just an amazing day. The sky was blue. Hey, Susie Craig, how are you? The sky was blue, and I sat outside on the porch with my dad for a long time today. He has not been feeling well, and I stayed with him last night. So, hey, Trish, you are back. I'm back, too. <laughs> Just a different channel, that's all. It's okay. We're going to do something different. Going to make a sweet Valentine's door hanger. I was trying to decide if I want it red, if I want it pink. I don't really know. I'm going to get it pink and see when it dries. Hey, Debbie. Um, see when it dries what we got going on here and I don't really need to paint the edges because I have another plan for those. How are you? Happy New Year to you too. Happy New Year y'all. 
Okay, let me get that dry. It helped if it was plugged in, wouldn't it? I guess I didn't plug it in today. Hold on one second. I tell you, I've been working in this craft room. Let me, oh, there we go. I've been working in this craft room and trying to get stuff moved around and organized. And my dad is doing good, Marker. Yes, he is. He is doing good. And I'm glad to. I love my dad. How many of you celebrate Valentine's? Buy Valentine's cards for everybody. Put a door hanger on your door. Put decorations in your house and whatever. Tell me what you do. Because I I usually put a door hanger on my door. And I've got a couple little hearts that I put around. And that's pretty much it. I might buy the kids some chocolate and, you know, whatever. But uh, Valentine's to me is not a season. It's a day. So I don't do too much ahead of time. I might set a few things out. But not much. Tell me what you guys do. Hey, Dana. Let me get a little more pink on this. <laughs> that looks like a lot more pink, don't it? Let me just get this smeared. It probably won't take but one more coat to cover this up good. We're going to do a couple of different things. I mean, something that I've done in the past, but when it comes to winter and cold weather, to me, Valentine's is usually cold. That's when we have a lot of our colder weather. It's in February and March. So I think about dead of winter when I think about Valentine's. I don't usually think about warm weather. Do you? I'm with you about the day versus season. I really don't do very much. I don't either. They can give it out. What shade of pink is that? Um, let me see here. This is called Apple Barrel Gloss Indoor Outdoor, and it's pink blush. It's pink blush. It's not a hot pink. It's really a soft pink. Um, I wouldn't say it's blush. Usually, to me, blush has just a little peach in it, you know, a little more orange. This is very pink. Let me just get it on here. That shouldn't take any more than that. Yeah, I like it too. It's not real bright. Hey, Melissa, how are you? Melissa, I saw that you called me today, and I was at my dad's, and it has been crazy, and I just haven't, excuse me, I just haven't got back to you, but I will. I hope you're having a good day. My dad went yesterday for a heart cath, and or was it day before yesterday? Anyway, my sister and I have been kind of staying the night with him and taking care of him. Are you too cold for a haircut? <laughs> no, do I need a haircut? I've, I've chopped on it a little bit, Wendy, but it's going to have to be straightened out, girl. I've been pulling it up and everything. No, I'm not cold. I've been too busy. <laughs> Y'all, that's my hairdresser. <laughs> And she's wondering why my hair's this long. That's what happens when you're too busy to get a haircut. Hey, Rhonda. I'm going to not dry this all the way. I'm going to move it over to the side a minute. We're going to do something else with the heart that's going to go in the middle of this. This is drying. It's unusual, too, because a lot of times paint dries darker. This seems to be drying a little bit lighter. <laughs> chat, no biggie. Okay, well, we'll chat later. What's funny, Wendy? I'm telling you what, look at that. Girl, it's long. Let me move this over just a little bit. Let me move it over here. And let's hope it don't fall in the floor. 
and we're going to do something to this um, cardboard heart. I just took a piece of paper today and kept cutting until I got a heart about the size I wanted, the shape I wanted, and all that. Hey, Emma K, how are you? Let's see. Call Wendy to cut. <laughs> Will you and Lisa leave me alone? David likes it long. Y'all hate it long. I'm sorry. I haven't had time. Between Christmas and lives and my dad and it's like I chop on it a while and keep on trucking. Rhonda, we need Marlene to give us classes. On what? Give you classes for what? Haircut? Okay. Let me get some glue. Um... I'm gonna use I'm gonna use glue and hot glue. Well, it's all glue, but I'm gonna use. Hey, Linda Jane. I'm good, honey. How are you? I hope you're doing good. I don't want this like going all over the place. So let me get some glue on here, and then I'm gonna put some hot glue around the edges just to hold it tight. Crafts. <laughs> Well, stay tuned, girl. You'll learn something. You might. Okay, this is a piece of a sweater, and I love using white sweaters for, um, let me get this in the middle, for winter stuff. So, this is, to me, this is winter. This is going to be cold. So, I'm just going to put a sweater on this heart. Hey, Paula, how are you? And these people picking on me in here, I don't know them. I don't know them. Yes, I do. One's my hairdresser and one's my cousin. So, okay. I'm going to cut around this heart and leave a little bit. So, you should be able to see what I'm doing. Good, Paula. I know. They just come on here to pick on me, I think. How they can't find me in the private group. I want hands-on classes. Not buying all that stuff. You're not buying all that stuff? I don't buy all of it either. I make it. Okay, what I did was just left about that much around it. And then I'm going to cut little slits and then I'm gonna glue it to the back. And that way it'll look like, well, it's kind of wrapped. I'm cutting almost to the edge of the cardboard. Not all the way, almost. Cause I don't want the cardboard to show. Let's hope it don't. Buying craft stuff. What do you mean buying craft stuff? They are giving me a hard time. I'm getting ready to ban them off this page. <laughs> I think they ganged up on me and told me I needed a haircut. All I'm doing is putting some hot glue and just folding this back. Hey, Sonia. Bullying. Oh, buying craft stuff. Well, I do buy craft stuff. You have to buy craft stuff to craft. You don't have all that stuff? Ah. Uh. Well, that's the reason you need to just buy it. You don't have to buy all the crap to make it with, right? All the craft stuff. Is that what you're saying? Love your hair. It's beautiful. Thank you, Sue Allen. Thank you. My husband likes it. That's all that matters. Every time I see my sister-in-law, she says, you need a haircut. Go get your hair cut. Uh, I don't know 
how I missed this side, but I did. Just give it there. Just a few snips to get it to go around. Uh, I don't know if it's easier or not for me. It's like you have to you have to fix every inch of it. When it's longer, you can just pull it up. You guys see what I'm doing? I'm just getting all those slits back. And I'll show you how it looks in just a minute. During Christmas, I put some white sweater on some pots on Christmas trees. I love using the white sweaters on stuff for winter. Where you got your place at um i have a booth at it's called heritage mills in ranlo let me pull this little place up this little piece oh it worked out perfect okay oh that's hot 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 you're not supposed to take fingers in your hot glue Hey, Stephanie. Well, I've been having headaches too, but I don't think it's my hair because my hair's not that long or anything yet. Let me just get all these little bits tacked down. Let me see what the middle looks like. See there? You can't tell me that's not cute. Hey, Sherry, how are you? I think it's adorable. Okay, now, there's one more piece to this, so let me lay this to the side while that other one's drying. And let me get these little bits of sweater out of the way. Okay, um, another thing I'm going to do is make a little tag. Not sure I'm going to use it. I think I am. Hey, Marina and Paula, how are y'all? Thank you. I love the white sweaters for Valentine's stuff. Okay, I've got to find, I downloaded um, and printed out, these are all really vintage Valentine's things. I love the sweater stuff too. And I want this to be straight up and down. So I've got to choose something. Be my Valentine. Yes, be my Valentine. And I am not gonna use my cloth stickers. Whoa. Cut one out and make a little tag out of this. There you go. There's that's going to be a little tag. Oh, you're welcome, Eleni. Anytime. We will pray for you anytime, girl. I'm just gonna put some wood glue. I could put Mod Podge on it, but it really doesn't matter. It's gonna, it's just a small little thing. If it was a big piece, I definitely would put Mod Podge on it. And after it dries, I'll put Mod Podge over top of it just to protect it. Not enough signal, will white tree play later? Oh no. No, I bought these tags at Hobby Lobby. I'm sorry, Nancy. Bless your heart. You can watch the replay later. That looks like it's down good. I bought these um, tags at Hobby Lobby and they come in black, 
white wood grain and hmm what was the other one the silver metal like the galvanized and they're not very much you get a pack of like six or eight or ten i don't remember how many oh thank you for the stars donna i appreciate that for um like four dollars or something so sometimes you can find them on sale um, I got these before the price went up, so I got these for like $2.99 or something. I'm not sure, but anyway, I'm going to distress around the edges. Thanks for the stars, Sonia. Oh, the Valentines. No, I printed, yes, I printed these online, and I can't remember the name. Um... Let me see if I can see it on that paper. Um, it was, I just Googled um, vintage Valentines and these came up and I might have paid $2 for several sheets, um, probably six or eight sheets of all different kinds. Thanks for more stars, you guys. Thank you so much. Hey, Bonnie. Okay, let me um, let me just use some ink and go around the edges. I'm just going to make this look a little more vintage by going around this tag with a little bit of ink. And this is um, archival ink. It's permanent ink. You can get the, the Tim Holtz Distress Ink, and it's beautiful, and you can get pretty colors, but it's not permanent. And as long as you're not messing with it, it's fine. But if you top coat it or mess with it too much, it's going to smear and run and all that stuff. So as long as you let this one cure and dry good, um, it's not going to go anywhere. But you do have to let it dry, so... So then the tag looks a little darker. And I may just put a little more. It still looks pretty new. Let me, let me just add a little something, something to that. Um, get some brown. I'm just going to dry brush a little bit on there. And I'm just going to put one little drop over here on my paper. And I'll add any water to my brush. Get most of it off. Get a paper towel. See, I'm getting most of it off. There's hardly going to be any on here. Hey, Ava, how are you? And I'm just going to brush until I start to see some. Yeah, much better. It doesn't look so new. It looks aged. That looks older. How's that? Much better. I'm good. How are you, Ava? Hey, Cindy. Okay, there's another part to that. Let's see. Okay, let's start putting some of this together. Let me find what's possibly the side or the bottom. Hey, Penny. How are you? Hey, Diane. It's going good, Diane. How are you? Okay, let's see. All right, I'm going to get this heart down, first of all, right in the middle of this pink. And I just put some old sweater material on this. So let me get some of this down. Um have to do this kind of fast. If hot, if you put hot glue on something, it starts cooling off. Um, of course, it's not going to have enough in my glue gun. There, and see, it's going to be three D because it's on the cardboard and it's raised up a little bit. I love the sweater look too. Penny, did you, were you on here when I put some on some pots for um, Christmas? I love the way they look. Okay, I've lost my glue sticks. I cleaned up. Okay, there they are. 
oh gosh, I move stuff around and organize stuff to, you know, do you ever organize your yourself out of organization? I think I'm doing that. Hey, Carrie. I'm just putting a dot on there to mend those together. Otherwise, it goes flying through the air. It usually does anyway. I think that's got it. on there can't remember that far back <laughs> bless your heart hey Emma okay let me keep this in the center and I'm just gonna glue this little tag kind of on there um, I want it to look like it's coming like from the center of the heart even though it really isn't Hey, Sharon McCabe or Maccabee. Oh, gosh, it's you've got a long name after. Okay, we talked about this the other night, I think. Um, I've already forgot. Anyway, all right. I'm going to attempt to make a big bow. Well, I, want, I got some keys here. I want to put some keys on this, too. hot glue there and just kind of embed these keys in there. Yes. Yes. It doesn't pay to clean your craft room. I'm telling you what. I had to use quite a bit of hot glue to embed that down in there so it'll stay because that's metal. And I'll probably have to tie a ribbon or something to it later too. So, so far that's what we got. Some keys and a tag. Okay. Now, where is the ribbon? There it is. No, it's not. No, it's not. Okay. All my stuff hides behind this thing. Hmm, is that it? Nope, that is not it. Okay, I had some ribbon. I really did. Is that what fell on the floor? Yes, nope, silver. Okay, for right now, we're gonna get this on there. We're gonna put a boa on this. Hey, Mary, how are you? <gasps> okay. I'm just gonna start right at the top let me cut this it comes with this kind of string i'm not sure why i guess maybe to tie it together at the end but i always like to cut that off and i just go up to the edge of the hanger and this will stick it sticks really good I'll show you guys in one second. Let me get this started. I told you it was gonna be foo-foo. I'm doing good, Mary, how are you?
grabs it pretty easy. Thank you, Sonya. I did a couple of Christmas ones, Santa ones, and did a Santa's belt kind of on it and did this around the edges and they turned out cute. It's different, right? Let me start right here. Got your name written all over it, does it, Melissa? And this boa came from, oh, somebody just asked where I bought the boa. Who was that, Donna? Um, I got this boa, I believe, at Hobby Lobby, Donna. I've seen some at Dollar Tree, but they're not really pretty. The ones at Hobby Lobby, and sometimes they're on sale, are fuller, softer looking. The ones at, that I've seen at the Dollar Tree or are um i don't know they're looks like the chicken lost part of his feathers i guess that's the best way to put it to make some valentines with the tags and those valentines you got offline um online i just googled i went to um i just went and googled whew, feathers flying everywhere y'all um, I went and Googled vintage Valentine. Maybe that's all. I can't remember. And so it took me to, I'm thinking somebody on Etsy. And I paid just a couple of dollars for a lot of them, like pages and pages of them. Of course, you know, it's going to take your ink and your stuff. But hey, Laurie. Okay, there... There's that so far. There's the top. So I've got some roses to go on here. And um, let's see. I know I have some ribbon. Well, it's right here the whole time. How in the world? And this might be too cream. No, the sweater's not white. So I'm going to make a big bow out of this. I'd rather give those out. There, the bell. Yeah. Yeah, the Valentine's that you buy. Okay, now this is always fun. I am going to get my bow maker down and see what I can do here. Hold on a second. I stuck it way up on top there. So, um, thank you, Margaret. Okay. Let me get a piece of string to tie this off when I'm done. Let me just put that in there in case. In case it turns out. Now, I'm not a bow maker. I'm not much of a bow maker at all. Occasionally, I surprise myself and end up with cute bow. Uh, not much. So... We might get a pretty bow and we might not. We'll see. And this is kind of a white on white, kind of a creamy. Let me get the numbers here. White on white, which I thought was pretty for Valentine's.
Hey, Sherry. This is not wired ribbon, so it's not going to do quite as good as some of it, but I think it'll work. I think it'll be fine when I get it all done. We'll see. Okay, I think that is good enough. That's probably plenty big enough. Let me cut this. Uh-oh, there's something on this piece. Surely not. Okay. There's some black on that, so I have to start over. Okay. Hey, Carlene. here. I think it's good. I'm going to use part of that other one I've already got put together. Let's see how that works. This will have a couple of extra loops, but that's okay. Do any of y'all use the bow maker? Are you just that good at making bows or what? Hi, Joyce. Did y'all see the reel that I made that's got the, let's see, how many loops do I have here? Okay, I think that's looking good. One, two, three, let me do one more. Let me just go ahead and finish this. Practice makes perfect. Who, oh, Sonia. <laughs> how are you, Sonia? You have to use the bow maker. Mm. I do too. I need all the help I can get. Um, now I can do a messy bow. One of those, you know, messy bows. I can do that pretty good. But when it comes to making a pretty bow, I don't do so good. You make, let's see, I make them by hand. Oh, I wish somebody had taught me how to make them by hand like that. Let's see what I got here going on. It's kind of pretty, y'all. It turned out okay. Hey, Jana. Or Jana. Look, that's not half bad. It almost kind of looks like a bow that you put in the middle of a bunch of roses or something, though, but it's okay. Okay. Let me find my doohickey over here. Thanks for the hearts, Nancy. Are you giving me hearts for the bow, ma'am? <laughs> oh, Nancy laughed. Uh, it, it's a, well, I'm getting black. Where am I getting black from? Uh-oh. Okay. I'm getting black from somewhere down here. I see, I see, I see. Uh-oh. Hold on, y'all. I put a drop of paint on there a while ago and didn't get it off so I got to touch a little 
a little piece up here. One little. Yes, for the bow. It's not half bad, is it, Nancy? Because I tell you, the ladies that have been on my page a long time, and uh, especially the ladies in my private group, uh, they know I'm not a bow maker, but I'm getting better at it. Thanks for the thumbs up, Nancy. Okay, let me get this dry. Got it in my little feathers. It's just about to get there, yeah. That one looked pretty good. It does. I'm proud of myself. Occasionally, occasionally I can do it. Occasionally. Sometimes, boy, they are really a hot mess. I need a baby wipe to get this mess off my fingers before I make another mess, so. <laughs> Sonia, you've probably seen some of my bad ones, haven't you? Oh. I've got black on me from one dot of dark brown or black paint I stuck over here a minute ago. But that's the way it goes. Okay. Okay. Let me get this one down. got to make sure I get it right in the center. That's the hardest part. And this doesn't have wire, so it's not going to stand up and be all loopy pretty and all that, but it's, it's okay. Hey, Pamela. Okay, that's what we got so far. Is it look like the Foo Foo Valentine's? It's supposed to. Okay, I have some of these pretty roses, and I don't know what these are, but these are the softest. I mean, they almost feel like a real rose. I know they're not, and I have several different colors. So I'm just gonna put two on one side and one on the other. I don't like things all matchy-matchy sometimes. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe just one rose. Hmm. I think I might just need one rose right in the middle of this bow. Bow. Yeah, I think I do. Let me just hold that there a minute and let it grab that. Yeah, that's pretty there. See? One rose right in the center. That's way better than three or four of those roses. Okay. Let me get some glue strings off of here. Um, I think we're done. About done. Let me put a hanger on the back of this, and I've got some white. Um, let me see. I need to mark this real quick. Thank you, Mary. Thanks, Jerry. Okay, 
Okay, let me get this Sharpie. That was loud, I know. I'm sorry. Okay, let me get this right here. I just kind of eyeball this and make sure it's right in the middle. Okay. Hmm. Okay, hold on a second there. Okay, there we got a center. Well, I've still got three lines here, my goodness. Okay, that's the center. All right. Now, I find everything when I clean up after this. I have some of this white cord that's just enough for a hanger. And so that's what I'm going to use. And I'm not going to use, um, I'm not going to make it to where this is long. I just want it to be just enough to hang somewhere and let the bow be the top instead of a long hanger. So I'm going to make it about that long. Thank you, Sherry. I'm just going to fray the end so it'll stay down really good with the hot glue. And then I'll put some hot glue on top of that and a little bit of that ribbon I'll show you. And that just always stabilizes that. Tranya, Tranya, hmm, that is a new name. I haven't seen you in here before. Very pretty. Thanks for hopping on, you guys. And some of you that are new, if I haven't seen you on here before, welcome and let me know where you're from and that you're new. And guys, if you'd like to follow my page, all you have to do is go up and touch anywhere on the screen, my nose, my glasses, wherever, and there should be three little dots up there. And if you hit the word follow, it'll let you follow me. And you should get notifications when I'm live. Don't mean you will, you should. Waco, Texas. Jana, welcome Jana. How is the weather where everybody is? I don't know if it's still snowing in certain places where you guys are and cold. It was beautiful here today. Oh my gosh, it was beautiful. I sit on the porch. Scissors. Scissors are lost. I sit on the porch with my dad a long time today. I just take a piece of ribbon, just a small square, just to cover up what I'm doing or burlap or whatever I'm using, and that just kind of finishes it off. It's That's what about it was here today, too. About 60, I think, 65, something like that. It was so pretty. I'll show you what I'm doing here in just a second. I said foo-foo, that's what we did. 48, 48, pretty cold still. Hey, Gloria. Okay, there's the hanger on the back. I just take whatever I'm using, whether it's a piece of burlap, piece of ribbon, in this case, the ribbon to match the bow, and just put that on the back and um, put some hot glue like further than that and it just stabilizes that and it looks nice too so okay i'm gonna put one more little key if i yeah right here i just like the looks of this little key and i'm just gonna lay it down here just glue that little key on
There you go. It's one more little key. Okay. There you go. There's keys and a tag and a vintage Valentine and a rose. Kind of reminds me of a box of Valentine candy. What about y'all? Thank you so much. We were supposed to get to 40 today, did it not, Penny? Penny, tell me where you are. I forgot. Are you in Tennessee? Thank you, Sonia. I'm glad you loved it. It's kind of not my norm, but it's, um, you know, some people love foo-foo, so there you go. And um, this, if this is not sold, you guys can let me know if you're interested. But if it's not, it'll go to my booth. Thank you, Patty. Thank you, Penny. Sue Ellen. Thank you, Sue Ellen. Thanks, Faye. I appreciate it, y'all. I'm next to Charlotte. I'm close to Charlotte. I'm not too far from the mountains, but I'm real close to Charlotte. Thank you, Mary. I appreciate you guys hopping on. You're near Chicago. Wow. And listen, you guys who are new to my page or have been here a long time, it doesn't matter. If you're interested in joining our private group, we do a lot of other things besides just craft. And it's a very small, intimate group. And this is what we did today. Right before this live, our group was together and I taught them how to pour some molds. And it's not finished but almost, I've got to add some leaves and then we're gonna to get together and paint that, and add some details and some ink and our paint color down in there and give it some details. So anyway, the name of the page is Marley's Creative Circle of Friends. And you can go to that page if you're interested. It's $10 a month is all it is. And I was considering having to go up the first year, but I didn't. It's still just $10 a month. And um, um, you have to answer all three questions. When you go to that page and request to join, there is three questions. And um, you have to answer all three of them. If you don't answer all three of them, it automatically um, kicks you out. It automatically rejects you. So I guess that's not the right word. What does it do? Anyway, it doesn't accept you. So, and I don't do any of that. It's set up that way. So that's just the way it works. But anyway, we'd love to have you. We have a lot of fun. Anyway, um, you guys, if you're watching me right now, you're watching the live. You see the red button that says live up there. Oh, I have more stars. Thanks, whoever did that. I appreciate the stars, y'all. Um, but anyway, um, if you're watching me right now, I am live. If you're watching me right now and that red live button is not in that corner, then I've already been live and you're watching the replay. Do me a favor and type in hashtag marks, the hashtag sign replay. And I'll know you've been here. Um, it's important for Facebook to see that. And um, let me know if you have any questions or comments about anything you saw. Um, if you need to know about the private group, if you need to know what products I used, anything, it doesn't matter. So anyway, I appreciate you guys hopping on. Thank you for all the new names. I would say faces, but I can't see you. Anyway, thanks for all the hearts on the side, y'all. Facebook thinks we're just having a big party here. That's important. I'm still live, Carolyn. But that's how you do it. That's what you type in. But I'm still live. But I'm fixing to go. <laughs> Did you just come on, Carolyn? I didn't realize you just came on. The 60s in Delaware. Okay, you guys, thanks for hopping on. It's time for me to go, and um, I'm not sure when I'll go live again, but if you um, are following me, you should get notifications. And if you're not getting notifications, um, go to the page and look and see if your notifications are turned on. If they're not turned on, you won't get notifications. Um, Facebook does kind of what they want to anyway. Um, thank you. Thank you, Sonia. So, um, if you think you're following me or you have been for a very long time, a lot of times Facebook takes people away from 
pages. If you're if you haven't been there a lot, they just remove you for some odd reason. So if you think you're following me, and you're you know you're pretty sure you are, just every now and then go up to the top on this side and tie and hit the um, hit anywhere on the page, and um, look f to see if you are. If you are, great. If you think you are and you're not, then that's a good time to hit the follow button. So, um, I have a friend that I have to refollow her about every two months, and I don't know why. It's just the way it works. So, good night, y'all. Have a good night.